With these shocking statistics, dogs are being introduced as animals to protect animals. Man's best friend is now being trained to be the rhino's best friend too. Currently what's happening in the Kruger National Park is that the poachers normally poach at night, especially over the poacher's moon or the full moon. People are killing our animals and it's so wrong. If we let these people keep on poaching the rhinos, it means that when my grandkids come, they will just hear that there was a rhino. They won't be able to see that rhino. You can't take a stick to a gunfight. And the intention for us behind this project is to ensure that we're equipping anti-poaching units around the continent with the opportunity to be far more effective and far more credible in the fight against poachers. The current project of training dogs and handlers for Kruger National Park and especially the anti-poaching scenario in South Africa started way back in 2010. So the Chukovitz Family Foundation has been actively involved in anti-poaching operations for quite some time now. We took a decision to establish a dedicated canine anti-poaching facility here in the Michalisburg region. We've set up the facility from scratch together with our partner, Henry Holzhausen. Henry is a third generation dog, dog trainer. Currently the dogs that's being selected for use as anti-poaching dogs in the Kruger National Park are bred by ourselves and raised from puppies. We experiment and use a crossbreed between the German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois. Because of the limited gene pool in South Africa of the Malinois, we want a dog that's got the same capabilities as a Malinois, but with a bit of a bigger size. And the cross between a German Shepherd and a Malinois allows us to achieve that purpose, but in an awesome package. The ranges that's been selected for dog handlers in the Kruger National Park go through a very rigorous process of uh, testing them to ensure that we have the right human candidate. After that, the handler gets part or partnered with the, the right canine that will enhance his capabilities. When we come back, we see how the bond between the handler and the dog helps combat rhino poaching. K9 Security Solutions offers intensive military training to men, women and dogs. Let's find out. I'm enjoying the training and it's keeping me fit. It's challenging but it's good because you get to know more about the dogs and then you get to connect more about the dogs. Me and my dog, we are so bonding. I love my dog. He's like, he's my buddy. He can protect me, I can protect him. Yeah. Our ranger course, canine course, consists a lot about tactical shooting, tracking, advanced tracking with the dog in all different scenarios, firearm detection. What happens a lot of time, the poachers, when they see the rangers approach, would hide the firearms. And they know without the firearm linking them to a certain rhino poaching, it becomes difficult. So we're teaching the dogs to search in tall grass. You can just imagine how long it takes a ranger to go hands on knees finding these cartridges. So the dog's sense of smell assists them in finding these cartridges for um, evidence. And while the dogs are being trained, the rangers are being capacitated in unique military style training, boosting their skills. I haven't experienced a training like this one, but the dog is a friend you can trust. And you must understand the inner community with your dog. The dog can feel if there's something which is not right with you. And then he can sense that no, something is not right with my boss. So it developed me inside there very well, very well. That unique bond between dog and handler is crucial uh, in providing a solution and a team that's going to be effective in the bush. We have in excess of about 120 canines at different levels of training. If we look back at the successes that's been achieved over the past few months, they had a huge impact on rhino poaching this year. The amount of successes that they achieved between the two of them is astronomical. We can definitely see the advantages of using a canine in an environment like the Kruger National Park against the war on rhino poaching. It's a history made for the first time in Kruger for bringing up the dogs. It's going to make a huge impact for people out there, for the rhino poaching as well. Poachers beware, the canine unit's on their way and they will take a bite out of poaching. They must watch out. For now they just have to watch out, they just have to stay away from our gates. 
I mean, you can't bribe a dog, but you can bribe a person, you see. So a dog, you won't bribe. If you see something wrong, you go for it straight to the poachers. They must watch out. We are coming.